You guys ever got a lower back pump so bad that you couldn't stand back up? We had to lay on the ground like the worst, like the oh, yeah. worst. All right, that's the goal today. We can do that. So, ah! actually working. Come on now. I'm supposed to answer a question right now. Five, four, three, two, one. I do 10 minute time attacks sometimes in my programs. You can check out my programs. And one of what you're trying to do is to accumulate as many reps as you can with a moderate weight over 10 minutes. And I wanted to pick Matt Winnings, lower back, uh, you know, I bought this. I don't even know. It's Good morning called. machine. Good morning machine. I don't even yeah. know the name of it. There we go. Basically, it's full murder. So what he's going to do is do a traditional good morning. But the nice thing about the machine is we've custom set his depth. So if he gets in trouble and say, I'm not here and he's by himself, he can bail out of the machine at any time. So we're going to be doing this. This is as many reps of lower back as possible in 10 minutes. All right. So that's going to be broken up into as many sets as it takes, as many reps per set as it takes. This is what it's going to look like. I think I just procrastinate at this point because I know this is bad. Wait, wait, wait! I got the heart rate monitor too. Okay. I'm not. I, I want to see how uh, how uh, jacked up I get. Go ahead and hit it. We got a little 20 second buffer there, so I can kind of get in place. Oh yeah. So while he's doing this, we're actually going to attach a band to the machine, which the thing has a band peg. This is going to help with the ascending strength curve. So as he stands up, he's stronger up here than he is down here. Mm -hmm. The band is going to counteract that. <laughs> One, let's go. And lead to a succulent Two, back pump. Three, big time. <laughs> Four. And you really can't hit the lower back without hitting the glutes and hamstrings too. So for you ladies, if you're trying to get this area solid, this area's gotta be solid too to hit those areas optimally. Doing good, buddy, doing good. So what inspired you to create this machine, Matt? I was doing good mornings one day by myself and I didn't have any spotters that particular day. And I'm like, wouldn't it be nice to have a machine that I could bail out of at any time and would make it safe to fail? which is what he's gonna do in this 10 minute process. So you wanna remove that impending sense of doom? Right, exactly. <laughs> and like, you know, if you get down to the bottom of a good morning and you can't stand up, that's probably one of the most scary feelings you could possibly have. This machine makes that safe. Yeah, look, if I get in trouble down here, I just do this. He can rest, or if he wants to get completely out of the machine, he can set it down and just crawl out of it. You would never program anything like, this is just stupidity. This is <laughs> this just for you guys' yeah. entertainment watching me crawl around the ground afterwards. Why would you not do a lower back gauntlet or some sort of insanely high rep rest pulsing with something like a deadlift? Explain that. Well, the reason- Why, you, why this machine? Well, why you would do it is because I would say for 75% of you guys and girls watching this, if your goal is any type of performance or glue, this is gonna be your limiting factor. So doing this level of work that he's doing is gonna make sure that this area is not the limiting factor in his leg strength. So if you're looking for jack legs, you got to have a strong back first to be able to have those legs even show that they can work. Well, I'm not going to leave the machine. I don't even have to get out of it. I can just rest inside of it. That's right. Come on. It's more like a crucible now. <laughs> <laughs> Keep squeezing it. 750. Oh. 750. You're doing good, Bubba. Okay. We got 30 reps. Good. We're about 24% done. Wait, why not 25? <laughs> <laughs> Almost there. Come on now. So how do you choose the ideal weight? For yeah, how do you pick this weight, Matt? <laughs> well, what the first thing ah! we do is we pick what he felt was comfortable for 20. And that's the weight we wanted to use for this kind of shit. So as you can see, it's starting to get nasty. We're at 719. So what we're probably going to be at around the 10 minute range, depending on how much rest we need, it's probably going to be around 60, 80 reps. <laughs> Are you going to try and hit the uh, triple digits? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I've never seen anybody do it, but if somebody could do it, he's crazy enough to do it. Now, the other thing that's making this hard that Judy doesn't train a lot with with this kind of stuff is we've hooked on this mini band, and that is going to make him have to work harder all the way through the range of motion. So if you don't know anything about that, look up ascending strength curves, and you're going to see why bands and chains are important. We use a lot of a lot of chains on this as well. Oh, no, we're not using chains. <laughs> Let's go. Maybe we should add some chains. No! Heart rate is 110. Come on now. Okay. So John, how, how is this applicable to other sports? I'm supposed to answer a question right now. Yes. <laughs> I'll answer it. <laughs> the limiting factor to most people in any sport is gonna be their lower back conditioning and strength. Most people, when you talk to them and they do something heavy like deadlifting, squats, they're gonna complain that the lower back gives out before their legs. Mm -hmm. This is gonna ensure that that doesn't happen over time. Obviously those muscles grow very slowly. Those muscles are encased in bone and they have a lot of tendon and soft tissue around them 
meaning they don't get a lot of blood flow. For now, they have tendon and soft right tissue. Now, the reason he's dying is because of blood flow in that area. So if as we can get this stronger and better, he's gonna be able to show more his squatting and delicate proudness. But you can see if you come back here, yeah. this is the area in which we're really attacking. And you can see his PVC pipes. This is gonna make all this grow down here and make it just way stronger so all this can work at maximum. There we go. But he's not gonna be free, it's gonna be hard. <laughs> Five minutes, halfway. 57 reps. We believe in you. Come on, Lance Armstrong. We're at 130. No, no, I just thought now. of Lance Armstrong. I want to see Lance do this. Lance could not. So as you can see, as he's starting to hit that maximum point, he's almost at 130 BPM. When he started this, we were at 82. I'm at 130. Yeah, you're at 130. I'm paying. I am paying. <laughs> so his body's starting to reject the work now. No. <laughs> God, we're actually working. Come on now. 450. Oh. I almost lost count at 64. So we're six minutes in. Six minutes of lower back work is insane, let alone 10 minutes. The machine is difficult, but in reality, what's really getting him is the band tension. Ah! It's taking away all of his acceleration and making him have to work through the entire range of motions. Come on. There you go. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the glutes. Let's go. Okay, 75. Almost there. Um, I'm still on track. 312. I'm still on track, baby. Heart rate stabilized at 130. Three minutes. Come on, we're almost there. 70% done. There it is. Come on. Okay. Yeah, come I'm on. at 80. 80. 245. I got it. You got it. I'm going to make triple digits. I got to prove <laughs> everyone wrong. Probably going to be around 60, 80 reps. Well, I don't think a, a disc is going to pop out of my spine with this. Why is it safer? Well, the problem is, is that you don't have that vertical compression. You have that forward compression. So in my personal opinion, this is a lot safer than a barbell mm -hmm. based on that reason as well. Ah! Come on. 220. Keep working it. 220. Now we're at 135 BPM. Come on. So will success be defined by you waddling around on the floor with, a, with your back pump? Yeah. Like yes, a tortoise? Yes, Sam, why? 155. You got it. Getting close to 140 BPM. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, keep breathing. Ah! Come on, come on. Who wants to rest, pause, lower back, pump? Ah! Ah! I got nine reps. I can do this. 85% done. Let's go. Uh, keep working it. Two. Come on. Three. There it is. Come on. Good. Keep working it. Come on. Four. Is, is this cardio? Is this a winning warm up? This is fun. Is this the winning warm up? <laughs> this is beyond winning warm up. <laughs> Come on, one minute. You wouldn't do this warm up for deadlifts? I uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do it if I wanted to look like a badass when somebody saw me at the mall. <laughs> Wait, on. are malls still a thing? <laughs> <laughs> That's 100. I did 100. <laughs> All right, press 45 seconds. Come on. One you ten. could do 101 one Dalmatians. 101, I got it. Come on. Hit it. 101. Come on, 36, 35. Okay, I'm gonna go for a sprint here in a second. 33, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, here we go. 1. Alright. 2. 3. 15 seconds. 4. Yeah, keep working. Come on. 10 seconds. Keep digging, keep digging, keep digging. Come on. There you go. Keep working. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Good, Good job, dog. Yeah. That's fucking man shit right there. We got a super set over here, Sam. I got my, my ah. pillow, banana duck. Is this how one should prepare for a massive back, lower back attack? Yeah, question Matt winning. Yo. Of <laughs> winning strength and high performance. When you have a lower back pump and you're laying on the ground, is it better to elevate your feet? Well, it would be better, I think, more for, for leg work. My best is fetal position. Like, I like to lay on my side with my feet tucked. Oh, like yeah. this. I like to lay like that. That's what makes it go away for me. Okay. Um, and then do, and then once the, the initial back pain goes away, a little bit of iron crosses, so he would lay back on his back. Oh, I thought you meant like with rings. <laughs> no, no, so what you would do is like with different style iron crosses. Yeah. So lay your feet out flat. Yeah. Now pick one leg up. Now take it over to the, that way. Oh. And then come back. Okay. And then go the other way. Yep, now down. Other leg. This way. 
stretch it out. So I like to do a lot of that, and that helps to relieve it a little bit faster. But the reason the lower back has so many issues to getting the pump to go away is because it's encased in bone and it's surrounded by a ton of soft tissue, so it can't really dissipate the lactic acid nearly as fast as some of the other muscle groups. But a lot of times the lower back pump, other than doing extreme stuff like this, is due to the fact your lower back's just not in shape. And as you know, lower back needs stimulation about every 72 hours. Mm -hmm. so, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's like almost- He said, as you know, the yeah. lower back, you need to do 100 reps on my machine every 72 hours. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or something of that nature. But your lower back needs stimulus constantly because it only gets flushing and pumping mechanism from actual work. It doesn't get it from normal daily life. So you have to actually put a lot of emphasis right here. Oh, that was uh, one of the weak points in stage in my last bodybuilding competition is they didn't, they said your muscles of your lower back are too small. They need to look like big bulbs of garlic popping out. And uh, I just made that up. Well, that would do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, if they don't have a lower back good morning machine, what type of exercises would you recommend for so, a picture for you, the lower back or yeah. anything? Because a uh, deadlift is going to feel a lot different. That's why I, you guys well, mostly notice a lot of guys don't do super high reps or 100 reps and 10 minutes on deadlift. There's a reason why, you know, well, just because someone's not doing it doesn't mean it's a bad idea. A lot of it's because it's, it's involving the hand. And when your hand gets fatigued, your central nervous system gets fatigued. So he's going to recover from that good morning machine faster than a deadlift. But let's say we don't have a fancy deadlift machine. You can All buy, right, this. You buy a cheaper band. Now, obviously, this wouldn't be the right, but you get the point. You're going to put it around your neck, and now you're basically doing the same exercise. I forgot about that exercise. Right? You just yeah. use a thicker band. But that would be great for you home gym guys if you're really limited on equipment or budget. Yeah. You could use a band. I would say probably somewhere around a thicker one, like a, the thicker orange or something mm -hmm. like that. If you did that for 10 minutes and that's a weak point, it would be a total ass kicker. Matt, where can we find you? Where are you on the internet? You go to winningstrength.com, obviously, yeah. and then Winning Strength YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. You can go there and you can see all the products that we have. Also, order the machine. And then we also provide a lot of tips to build a lower back on the Winning Strength channel. And we did a couple videos with him uh, last year. The winning warm-up videos we did with him, awesome. I find they're, your winning warm-ups are not only good for warming up for a power lift, they're good as a standalone, as a feeder workout, mm -hmm. or for cardio if they don't want to just jump on a treadmill and want to feel like they're doing something a little bit more directed. In yeah. Let's yeah. check them out. Uh, link in the description. You know all the other YouTuber stuff. But uh, I got a headache, so I'm going to walk <laughs> over here now.